Oh, that was a hit. Oh, there's a fish. That's a fish. On the very bottom. Yes. Got one. On the Ned Rig, once again. Dude, the Ned Rig is key right now. What the heck? There's one. Feels decent. There's one. Haha. The last cast did it. Check out that catfish. So this past week the weather has been horrible. Either it's freezing cold and snowing or windy as balls. Except for this one day where the water was glass and not an ounce of wind. And that is the footage you're seeing now. But as you know I bought the bass boat a while back and have yet to upload a video fishing on it. And that is because the fishing is absolutely horrible as well. But I take the bass boat out every chance I get it's just the fishing is horrible. And I have no exciting fish catches to show you. I have been out in it about five times now and since you guys asked for it I'm gonna go ahead and throw all the footage from all five days into a video and just show you how bad the fishing really is. So the first time I took it out me and Devin came out here with live minnows and got skunked. Couldn't even find the fish. The next day I took her out and threw her around the Alabama rig and spent four hours searching for fish. This day was the coldest I have ever been on a boat. It sucked but I needed to find where the fish were. All right, boys, first time ever with a Alabama rig. First cast ever. Let's tighten it up just a hair. Let's put all the weight on there. Let's see what happens. All right, so first cast is definitely successful, but I can definitely get out farther than that. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit. I think I set the hook way too soon though. I got scared. <laughs> oh boy, first hit on the Alabama rig. All right, let's go find some fish. This is fun throwing this thing around though. After looking for the fish, I trailered the boat and fished off the docks for a bit to figure out what they wanted to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna throw in a rattle trap, fish the bottom, go deeper. This is the rattle trap I chose. Pretty loud, probably too loud, but oh well. Got the Rapala Rip and Wrap 07. Mostly silver, a little bit of golden black on top. Mimic a shad somewhat. Mainly grab this one just because it's heavier. It'll sink faster to the bottom. We are in about 30 to 40 feet of water where I'm about to fish this, so I want it to get down quick. Let's just pitch that out about 20 feet, let it drop down and we'll bounce it back. We'll see what happens though. There may be a few walleye down there willing to bite my lure. It is freaking cold, man. I'm about to call it. About to call in some food, go home and eat. Oh, there's a fish. That's a fish. On the very bottom. Yes. Finally, dude. It took it. Oh, walleye. Little guy. Come on, buddy. Called it, maybe. I called it on this boat slip. Oh, came right out. Good thing I had that in my hand. Why? I don't, I don't have to walk over there anymore. I was walking to the pliers. Little walleye. Not very big, but hey, it's a fish. I will take it. I will definitely take it. Oh, this guy is freezing. Thanks, dude. Thank you for playing. You can tell they've been deep, dude. Look how freaking like light this guy is. He's not dark at all. Thank you, buddy. Get down there. I was about to call it quits. I was about to call in the food order and get out of here. It's cold, but now I have to cast about 30 more times. Have to. It's, it's a law. Catch one fish, you have to throw at least 30 more casts. All right, guys, so I'm at the lake, and when I was driving down, I saw a big flock of seagulls just attacking this area so i'm driving through here just to check it out there is quite a bit of fish so that is a good sign today i brought the catfish rods just because those are big enough to carry or troll these two ounce weights i'm going to be trolling today today i'm just going to be driving around and finding the fish 
In the last video, we came out on the Jumbo and I could not see any fish whatsoever, but now I am seeing them. We are in 54 feet of water. This is where all the fish are in the deeper water. So this is a, uh, this is prime area right here. I'm about to troll some jerk baits all through here and it should be a pretty good spot. So thank you seagulls. I'm glad I was looking over here. Let's go ahead and spot lock here and then oh, I'm going to get my rods all set up for trolling and then we're going to hopefully catch some walleye. We'll see. It's been tough guys. Uh, I came out here yesterday, day before yesterday and just trolled. I went, I started over here, saw some fish over there and I just went this way. I shot off that way and I trolled. I didn't troll. I just drove around looking for fish. I drove around for four hours yesterday. I'm not even kidding. Four hours in the freezing cold and nothing. I did not see any fish whatsoever on this side of the lake. So, so I came back over here by the boat ramps and this is where all the fish was. So this is where I'm going to start. I got some minnows and today I actually went with some worms as well. I also grabbed the catfish rods because they got the depth counters on there. So we will know exactly how far out our line is. If you guys remember this, this is from the first bass boat. I made this little rack here for the live bait fishing. So I got that. It's also great for trolling. We can stick a rod out either side. Here is the second reel with the depth counter on there. Freaking beautiful cold water from Okuma. Let's drop that into place. Boom, we're set up. Although I still have to set them up. I, I never really troll, so I don't have like all the gear for it. I don't have any planers or divers. So I'm just gonna use the old, the old three-way swivel route. So today's bait is going to be the wobbler from Fish Lab Tackle. We got a bunch of these wobblers here, a few different colors. I'm gonna start with Fire Tiger. And then uh, of course, classic silver. So that is our bait for today. Again, I never really troll. I'm no expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert at trolling. Like I said, guys, I'm out here to find these fish, not really do some trolling. But since we are gonna be moving slow, it would be stupid not to troll, right? So that is why we're gonna be dragging these wobblers back behind the boat. And drop this out there. Make sure she doesn't get all tangled up. Good deal, okay. One and a half mile per hour, that direction. We're trolling, this one's at 60 foot, this one's at 50 foot. And I'm just gonna hop right here and kind of watch the fish. We can actually see our stuff as well so that's pretty cool this uh two ounce weight may be too heavy i don't know we'll see we will see we'll have to adjust it me and devin came out here with minnows and they did not care one bit we were in some huge schools of fish and they would just would not bite so i said you know what let's try these wobblers let's see what we can do man what an awesome view I'm gonna go ahead and drop these out a little bit more. We're gonna go 80 feet on this one and 100 on this one. Oh yeah, we are on the fish, baby. Come on, let's catch one. Let's put a freaking fish in this boat. There's some bait, big old ball of bait right here. Dang, son. This is why these birds were over in this spot, attacking this bait. Dude, if you don't catch one right now or soon in that big old mess dude that is nuts that is a crap ton of bait right there i just anchor down the cast dude i might just fish that 20 feet down all right i tried trolling they didn't go for it so i'm gonna go find that big school of fish anchor down on top of it and then drop down some worms and maybe even a minnow just to see what they go for like I said, we tried minnows the other day. They didn't go for it. So I'm hoping these worms will do the trick. We'll slowly head back to the docks and then 
fish the schools we see and then I'm gonna put the boat on a trailer and then fish the docks until it gets too cold. I am in shorts. Always make that mistake. Come out here in shorts. And then the sun sets and it's like 30 freaking degrees, cold as balls. All right, get home and order some snap weights for trolling. That's the plan. All right, so I went to Amazon and I ordered some trolling gear. I got some three ounce tadpole divers. Got some night crawler harnesses and also got some Adabuzz inline spinners for those. And then also got some snap weights and then some bottom bouncers. So I am gonna be having this gear on the boat. Although I do not plan to troll very much. I just wanna troll whenever fishing is tough like this or when I'm just looking for fish. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the setup perfected and also practice trolling. And I wanna be able to confidently troll and catch a fish how's it going what? nothing man no shit nothing it's tough out here you smell, smell fish. right <laughs> i trolled through a huge school out there and yeah i just saw it man nothing it like yeah <laughs> they don't want to eat the next day i installed a locker bar on the boat and only had about 30 minutes of daylight left and decided to fish the docks again and try to use a more finesse technique. It is about to get dark. Good thing though is we have the dock to ourselves. There's a full moon, you can't really see it behind the clouds now, but there's a full moon and that may be why no one is down here. The fishing might suck. But yeah guys, I'm just gonna be dropping down this little Ned rig. Got a little different style on there, of course. I'm just gonna slowly move this through, through the bottom and see if we can catch any walleye. I've never threw a Ned rig in my local lake. Thrown it at a lake in Dallas, but not here. So we'll see what happens. Let's let that sink down. We're in about 30 feet of water, so I might need a heavier Ned rig for this deep of water, but, but this is my Ned rig setup. We got the medium light action rod the Helios SX spinning reel. I am gonna change out this line, but this is 10 pound fluorocarbon. I'll definitely need more time than the time I'm gonna get because it's getting dark already. These GoPros suck in the dark. Today was actually really warm, like 70 degrees, but it was just so freaking windy. Sucked. All right, last cast, it's getting dark. You guys probably can't even see. Maybe you can, I don't know. Come on, Walla, give me at least one. At least I got my rods and reels all set up. Some of them at least. There's one, haha. -ha. Last cast did it. On the Ned rig. Let's see what we got. I've not caught a fish on a spinning reel in a long time. Feels good. Catching a fish on one feels good. The fish don't feel that good. I mean, it feels decent. Walleye, baby. All oh, that water is freezing. But guys, it is official. You can catch walleye on an Ed rig. First time ever doing it. I, uh, like I said, they did not want minnows. They didn't want worms. They didn't want trolling jerk baits. So I had to switch it up to something else and try something completely new. Again, Ned Rigs for walleye is not a new thing, but it is a new thing for me. I've never tried it before. And there is maybe a 16 inch walleye. Heck yeah, dude. Definitely can't leave now. Sorry it's dark guys, but hey, we're catching fish. We caught one. <laughs> I can't leave. I gotta throw some more cast. Dude, that is awesome. Came out here, tried something new, and it worked. That is freaking awesome. I will show you guys the setup tomorrow, or the Ned Rig tomorrow. It got dark on me pretty quick. Dude, it's so freaking cool, man. Freaking cool. Now we know, all right? I've never done this at this lake, and now we know. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. It's dark. You guys can't even see anything anymore. But we accomplished the goal for the Ned Rig. I literally only threw about six casts and then it got too dark and we caught one so 
That is awesome. Definitely gonna come back out here tomorrow and throw this Ned rig around some more. All right, guys, so it is a new day. Look how freaking perfect this water looks. It is glass right now. And we are on some fish, baby. Look at that. Uh, yeah, I should probably stop and fish this. All right, dropping down some minnows. Got the double minnow rig going down. We are in uh, 57 feet of water. God, what a freaking beautiful day, man. I'm about to rip the boat out. I never had that when it was this calm. See how fast we can get her going. Went ahead and switched my line to uh, braid this morning on my Ned Rig rod. I was waiting for the 15 pound braid to show up, but I said screw it, I'll just go to 10 since I already have it. All right, going to a new spot. Let's throw one cast. I'm going to check out that point See if there's any fish on that point And if not We will drive around And actually try to find these fish Shallow stuff, definitely no fish here. I can see the bottom. We may not be catching fish, but it is still freaking awesome to be able to get back out here. Just to be outdoors, man. I've missed it. Been in the garage for six months. Sucked. Of course, it was winter, so I don't know how much I actually would have been out here. But now that I can come out here and just enjoy all of this, it's awesome, man. Feels good to be back. We just need them water temps to get up. I don't know what I did to deserve this day, this weather. It is so freaking nice. Yesterday it was like probably 10 freaking degrees. And today it's like 50. No wind, not an ounce of wind, which is so rare for this area, but I will take it. There's no fish though, man, not here. Nothing, seven feet of water. Ugh. Figured maybe I'd roll by a catfish or something, but nothing also can't wait to get the live scope should be here in a few days i'm gonna put the live scope right here bam oh, all right let's get out of here i didn't see any fish on the drive in either i was in about 30 feet of water not a single fish i think i saw like three actually three fish swimming around and it was not even worth the stop Come on, minnows. I'm not giving up on you just yet. Bro, I'm in fish and they're just not biting. Going back to the Ned Rig. So freaking far, the only thing they wanted was a freaking Ned Rig, so. So I'm going to go back to that and drop it in front of their faces and see if they'll eat. Hopefully they will. Got one. On the Ned Rig once again. Dude. The Ned Rig is key right now. What the heck? They don't want anything else but Ned Rigs. It is insane. Small guy. Tiny, tiny guy, but hey, it's a fish. I will take it. I probably said that like seven times now. Or at least three times. I think I've only caught three fish in this video so far, but... Small guy, dude. Tiny, tiny. Thank you, buddy. 
once again here it is guys on the Ned rig got the little flappy tail right there I guess a walleye that's what they want man come on dude you waste my fishing time oh there it goes it woke up okay all right, I'm gonna throw this on the actual right rod. What's on this one? Blade bait. I might try a blade bait. Oh, these guys are tiny, man. Or maybe just a tiny one ate it. All right, we're on bottom. I'm just bouncing this guy up and down. There's one. Feels decent. Decent walleye. Hope you're hooked, buddy. Ah. Dude, freaking struggle today, but that one's bigger on the lipless. <sighs> We're slowly figuring this out. Thank you, buddy. We need to bust out the freaking drop shot, dude. I want to go. I also want to try it. I'll try it next time. Next time we're out here, drop shot only. Just kidding. Can't do that. All right, guys. Today we got the drop shot rig. Let's go down to the docks and catch some fish. It is a freaking windy day. It's supposed to be windy for like the next four days. It freaking sucks. We're still coming out tomorrow though on the bass boat, so. Sheesh. Dude, the wind's over here. Usually the wind is way over there, but it's coming from this direction. But usually when the wind comes from this direction, the fishing is really good. So hopefully we can get on a few fish before it gets dark. We probably have an hour or so. Wow, the water's so murky too. Dude, it's like turned over. Holy crap. So once again, we got the drop shot rig. I got a few styles of plastics here. I think I'm gonna start with the uh, this. This looks the juiciest with that tail right there. That looks fire. So we're gonna start there and I'm just gonna be nose hooking it. All right, that is it. That's all we need. Drop shot rig. Yeah, buddy. Well, I want to say it's just a Ned Rig that they want, but I can't really judge this drop shot off today because it is so freaking windy. So, I'm going to try this some more tomorrow. But uh, guys, that's probably going to be it for this video. I know you guys wanted to see the boat on the water. And this is the reason why it hasn't happened yet. The weather has been absolute crap. It is so freaking windy today, and it's supposed to be windy the next four days. It's supposed to only get up to about 15 tomorrow, so we will come out here and try. Me and Devin, so I will throw around this drop shot some more tomorrow. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.